Search is an essential component of modern applications. Having a fast, powerful search engine is crucial. So with mainly search, you can have an open source search engine that can be integrated to a React Native app. So in this tutorial, we're gonna go through the steps of integrating mainly search with React Native using the React Insta Search Native library. There's a React Native uh, Medium link in the description, so you can check that out. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you like this content. So let's go. So you can go to the mail search website and create an account from there you can create an account that we're gonna use find out what mail search is and what you can do but everything should be written out there and it's for it's quite clear for you to see as well so after you're done with that we can just go and, and create the app that we're doing now so we're gonna use the react native init command to create a simple react native app that we are going to use um to for this tutorial and we're gonna we're not gonna go with expo we're just gonna go with the like straight cli or vanilla react native for this while it's installing i will just uh fast forward some of the portions so that we can get ready quickly and then just go straight to the creating the app nice so cd into the folder and code dot to open vs code so we're going to be using vs code for this tutorial uh vs, VS code is basically it's an ide uh that i normally recommend when it comes to react native but you can simply use any code IDE that you, you like. So I'm going to run up the iOS simulator. And uh, the way you're going to do that, you're just going to say yarn iOS. I'm using yarn instead of npm. You could easily also use npm run iOS to do uh, the same thing. So this will open up the iOS simulator and then after that happens, uh, we'll get to it. Cool. So what you see now is just like the basic React Native uh, init screen. So let's go back there. So we're just gonna be, I'm just gonna delete everything which is happening on that. So it's mainly on app.js. So let me just make sure it looks nice there. Yes. Cool. So I'll just go to let's just make sure it's nice. Cool. Yeah, so I'll just go to app.js. Then I'll just highlight everything and delete it. Because basically we're gonna be just starting afresh. And then I'd like to use the React Native snippets, so RN fs so it'll give us a simple status kit for the react native just gonna add a safe area view so that we can see everything it's better to use safe area view from react native context so that it can work on both ios and android but since this is a this is a fast tutorial i'm just gonna use safe area view for that nice And then what we want to do now is to actually like start with the actual uh, coding of this app. So basically we're integrating melee search with uh, React Native. So I'm just gonna have to, you have to first install a few packages, which is the first ones like React Insta Search Native, the other one is melee search. And then we have to also add React Native URL polyfill. Uh, polyfill. So let's make sure that you guys can see. So we have to add all those uh, dependencies uh, because 
uh, we gonna rely on them cool I think that should be everything let's just install that says yeah everything we have here so just press enter then everything will install should be fast should be fast install cool so so we, we next thing that we have to do now is to actually go to our entry point Entry point here will be index.js. We have to locate index.js and then in that route we have to add that uh, code that's for the React Native URL polyfill. So it's the easiest way to, to create it. So this that will apply polyfill automatically. So then I want to just go to the put uh, iOS folder and then pod install. That should be a quick one as well. Cool. Yeah, now that we got that happening, we have to just go back to the index.js and create a SS and search client that will collect connect to melee search uh, so that's where i'm importing that there which is the instant melee search so and then we just have to add a search client as well so i'll end it inside the app there cool yeah so what do you see there we simply have a url and the api key so just remember to add your own or if you're still testing it out, you can use the same URL and API key. Next thing we have to do now, we have to import InstaSash and then place edits to uh, the return statement to specify, then specify the index name and connect it to the search client. So we just need to specify the index name there and then connect it to the search client, which is gonna happen in a sec. Cool. So, so while that's happening, next thing what we need now is a custom search box. So we need a search box. That's where the person is going to enter the search, when, whatever they're searching for. So we're going to add that now. So in order to, ha to have that going, we, have, we will need to import custom search box, which is a higher odd component from React Native Insta Search. So this component will provide our search engine component with the necessary data and functions to perform the searches. So that's what we're going to do now in a second. So, so like now what I'm going to add there is the search box component, which is a functional component. This component will receive the current refinement and refinement props from connect search box. So I'm adding the component there now. So 
so it will take the current the refine which is a prop and also it will take it will take refine and current refinement so let me just put everything there So this will just be a, like simple components that I'm just gonna show, which is like a view. That view will have the search bar com container, and you're gonna have a search bar and the text input within uh, this. So all these items I can just simply put them there, so that you can see. So it's simple view, and I'll, there you'll see that that refine I was talking about. So you have to put it as a prop and also have to put that current refinement. So the current refinement is the current value of the session input and the refine is a function that updates the session input value. Nice. So everything should be there now. Next thing I'm thinking about is like now we'll have to just add a custom search box because remember we have to connect it we have to connect our search box so we're gonna use that higher order connect search box that we imported which will take in the search box uh component that we just added now. So that connect search box will wrap our search part component and provide it with the necessary data. have to remember so we just have to add that mm -hmm. component so just remember to import ev everything so we have everything going there So like now we have to add the infinite hits. So similar to the search bar component, we will start by importing the connect infinite hits, which is a higher order from React Native Insta search. That's what we have to do as well. So here now I'm working on the hits on the infinite hits component as a function which is a functional component this will receive props which is the hits um and then it will then it will have like an array of the search results that will be returned by the search in index so i'll just put that there this is basically a flat list the flat list will take the hits as data and then render a view with all the components we just have to import a flat list we have to import the image as well because we want an image of the results and then we're going to have text as well
cool so like now i'm just adding that uh connect infinite hits which is the the high order which wraps the infinite hits and everything should be done after that so this is like adding melee search with react native is actually not that difficult compared to algolia so algolia is similar to melee search um but it's just not open sourced but i have another tutorial whereby i show you how to connect algolia so if you're looking for that uh you can find it in the description or you can go to my channel and and, and get it get it from there so if you're enjoying this content so far give it a like subscribe and comment below if you are getting any errors i should be able to assist cool now i'm putting everything together um oh yeah we need to import the hits there as a prop nice so everything is working now we have our results there so the only thing which is off now is the styling so but everything looks like we have our hits going there so the thing that we just left now is the styling so let's do a basic search and see if it works let's say car and we can see that it's working nicely the next thing i'm gonna do now is just to add styling and for styling i'm just gonna because this is not the main purpose of this video i'm just gonna fast forward to the styling but i uh, hope you enjoyed it and you'll see the styling now Just in case this is moving a little bit too fast, there is a link to the GitHub repo in the description. So that should be fine. You can see the full code in there and copy whatever snippets of code that you want. So give it a give it a star, give it a like if you're enjoying this content. Yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, y'all.